What I'm gonna speak on is the thing that's on my mind the most. You know what I'm saying? The thing that we all gotta deal with every day but don't really know. The industry. The industry. Man, it's not the same. Doesn't have to do with talent, it's about playing the game. She ain't what it used to be. They're alive. New artists to sell their souls in the way they What? He said that y'all had like skulls with diamonds and all kinds of shit. Lying like a motherfucker. Oh. Two chains on there. <laughs> Are you serious? He said that? Oh no, He's man. He's full of shit. So it was like some Illuminati type shit or something. Yeah, it was like vanilla. Y'all were drinking vanilla. I don't know nothing about it. Maybe I missed it. Maybe they be Get out of shit behind man. my back, man. I don't know. <laughs> you know. They need to let me know though. So. This is listen. This is when you get to when you get to a level of success. When you get in. 30, 40, 50,000 to show you platinum, you running across the world. There's, a, there's three different doors, right? There's three different ways to walk. And then there's to the left, I'm not sure if there's some sacrifice shit going on right there. I'm not sure because I went straight. But I was offered these doors. Some of us are against the Illuminati, and we are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them, and nobody likes them. We all love Dave Chappelle. Exactly. Dave Chappelle has never been a part of the Illuminati. They don't want him or me or people like us. I read some of your letters, man, because you know, a lot of them hit the internet, man. One of the things you were talking about a lot while you were in prison was uh, a lot of the conspiracy theory stuff, uh, Illuminati stuff. Um, do you still believe that? Yeah, yeah, it's real. Can we bring this up real quick? It's just a, uh, from, it's from your, your letter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it. It says, the exact moment in time when I discovered the entire planet was being lied to uh, and was put upon a spell to keep us unaware of it was back in 90, 1996, around the time Biggie got locked up for the tech in his house. What can you do as an artist? What can we do as media to change that? We could, uh, you know, um, just be rebellious mm. and speak about it. Yeah. Just say something. But you can kill that Nigga wake up Don't join the army Kill your own peoples But fear Illuminati And they ain't even real Or are they? But you wouldn't even know Because you partake I don't want to ride the antenna though Cause I'm coming through with the fender I'm naughty when I'm my soul and my body They asked me what I traded all for my Maserati I told them no He said I then I'ma take the top off like a bob. I go down and kiss a pearl hub. She sat down with this new order. We are slowly being slaughtered. So be prepared for the new war order. Yeah, yeah, you can yell out your brain. So at the OVO Festival in Toronto, Drake was performing. And that's when the number six appeared with fire around it and an image of Rihanna, followed by another six, then another Rihanna, and then another six. So six, six, six. Top of our headlines this morning, Madonna. And she's making world headlines because she took a tumble down a flight of stairs. It happened during her performance on stage in London for the Brit Music Awards. This section of like the world where people just don't give a fuck about what's going on, they mm -hmm. just depend on the news. They don't read, so mm -hmm. you know I've been reading like Angels and Demons and all mm -hmm. this fucking the the, the lost symbol. Mm -hmm. I'm reading that right now, actually. Mm -hmm. But I'm like a fan of all. You know, they're never gonna tell you the truth, but it's good to understand or know and just be aware that there's some shit going on. Jay Z doing these signs. Everybody's doing like signs, trying to connect with other people, but meeting him like just him randomly telling me oh that's the new sign then he did it he did the gun sign so he assumed that that's the new way of communicating to whoever is in the hierarchy because he's, he's assuming because i fuck with 50 right. i'm already in the hierarchy that i understand the whole s symbolism of whatever right. they do
just happen to just flip through. Wait till you see this. This is the most satanic collection of anything I've ever seen. This is loose. Look, just watch. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. Me neither. Next legal battle involving American Idol winner Philip Phillips. He says he's been manipulated by the company that produces his records, manages his career, and now he wants out of his contract. This morning, American Idol winner turned gone, gone, gone megastar Philip Phillips filing a bombshell petition hoping to terminate his relationship with a company he's calling oppressive and fatally conflicted, alleging the company manipulated Phillips into accepting jobs and entering into other transactions that were for the benefit of 19 and its affiliated companies rather than his own benefit. Phillips' attorney telling ABC News the singer appreciates the opportunity American Idol afforded him, but adds he never anticipated that the producers would favor their own interests above his career. We begin with a first, the explanation of why somebody was not on the list of the worst persons in sports. Larry Wayne Chipper Jones, the future baseball Hall of Famer. Friday, he sent out a horrible tweet, an infuriating bite of the conspiracy theory Apple, that stated that the horrors at the Sandy Hook Elementary School just before Christmas of 2012 were not only a hoax, but a hoax about which, quote, the FBI comes out and confirms. Nineteen hours later, he apologized without the flippancy of his insane tweet, and without reservation. My apologies for my Sandy Hook tweet yesterday. I had heard something from someone which I thought to be credible and tweeted without researching it. Shia LaBeouf was, of course, uh, in Eagle Eye, and five years ago, uh, he had an uh, you know, appearance on the Jay Leno uh, Tonight Show uh, where he talked to Leno about Eagle Eye, but he said something really interesting during that interview. Watch. Um, I remember we had an FBI consultant on the, on the picture telling me that they can use your ADT security box microphone to, to get your stuff that's going on in your house or OnStar, they could shut your car down. And he told me that one in five phone calls that you make uh, are recorded and logged. And I laughed at him and then he played back a phone conversation I'd had two years prior Come on. to joining the picture, the FBI consultant. And it was like one of those. It was one of those phone calls. It was like you know, what are you wearing? Type of things. Really? <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was mad Can weird. We you come home and you find out that the government is tapping into our phone lines, tapping into uh, our internet uh, mm. activities. Uh, do you talk about that at all in your music, or does that affect the? the oh the, yeah. You know, let me ask you this, Pete, because a lot of artists are um, affiliate or are assumed to be a part of this secret society the illuminati <laughs> and they think it exists in the music people think it exists in the music business and yeah. that urban artists actually are able to participate in this society i believe that there's definitely a uh, secret society mm -hmm. you know what i mean I, I believe definitely uh maybe some of these label heads like major labels and like major corporate companies might have something to do with it and they you know might be uh involved with the agenda so it's funny we talked about kanye before i mean what was his line on uh on jesus walks if i talk about god then my record won't get played yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah, like no, man no. all these people will talk about killing sex all this shit and the radio play so if you talk about god then this is this this is how sinister this is important too this is how sinister this industry is and that is so true you talk about god your record won't get played but yeah i, I explained the chain reaction of like rappers talking about the negative shit popping mollies turning up doing all that stupid shit but if you talk about God, why wouldn't you want to spread that message to somebody's mind? That means the radio stations are going, you know what, let's play this because it's going to fuck these people's minds up. And there's no songs like that on the radio no more. I don't even think they'll play a song like that anymore. But songs like that, it changes people's lives. 
And why would they not want to play that? Because they don't want motherfuckers getting smart. Look what it, they don't want motherfuckers becoming wise. They don't want motherfuckers becoming millionaires. They don't want people knowing what the hell is going on. They don't want people becoming aware. So they just want to keep them stupid. I feel like if a, ra if a radio station goes, we're not going to play that because it's gospel. So a rapper can go, I'm turning up, I'm smoking, I'm drinking, I'm doing this, I'm fucking in the club, doing whatever. They can say that, but they can't, you can't say God, you can't talk about God. Like, that sounds like Satan to me. That's exactly, that is exactly, it seems like some Satan would do. would be like, no, we don't, we don't talk about him over here. No, we just play this stuff because we're not trying, we're trying to fuck up mine. So that sounds like some Satan would do. And, but it looks like it's nice though. It's like, yeah, yeah, radio station, 5601. Yeah, your local radio station and your hip hop lives. And it sounds cool. Like, yeah, but then it's like, why would you only play that? Why would you only play that fucked up music? Something's going, something's going on. That's when you snap out of it and go, something's going on here. Thank you for doing this, by the way. Thank you for, you know, giving me the opportunity to be heard, you know, in, in a positive light. Yeah. Well, just in a fair light. I first came to Arizona, man, and um, I remember one day coming from the studio at 6 o'clock in the morning and pulling over on the highway. We had, like, four cars, you know, just to watch the sunrise. And it was at that point that I fell in love with, God, with um, Arizona. I said, you know what, this has to be God's country, you know, because I'd never seen anything as beautiful as that sunrise. Then I met the devil in God's country. You know, and, uh, um, it's not so much who, it, it's what, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he, he acts through people. We already know this. Once out, man, I'm telling you, if I would have took the two mil and signed my, and signed that contract, new people was, was ready to fly me out there and sign a deal. If I would have took that two million and signed that contract, it's over for you people out there who trying to get in the industry and all that stuff. Let me tell you something, man. You better really, really, really know what you're doing. You better really have Christ, man. I'm telling y'all what's really, really real, man. These major companies, man. This, this guy emailed me. I was talking to this guy on the phone, man. This stuff is real, y'all. I'm telling you, man. This ain't a game. Some of you might know me by uh, a record that I had a couple years ago. Had top billboard success, toured the country with Rihanna. Thought I was living the dream. And with success came everything else. I wasn't a person anymore, I became a product. Here I am now, years later, surrendered to the Lord Jesus Christ. I had been fortunate enough to give my heart to him while I was on the road and what I do, now is for him.